knocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Charlotte. I create videos about lifestyle, vlogs, student videos, and just basically general chit chat and everyday life. So if you're new, stay tuned and please subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is gonna be a 2020 in reflection. So every year I write a list of my goals and resolutions for the next year. And 2019 was no different. 2020 is a new decade. So I thought this is gonna be a big year. And little did I know just how big this year was going to be. So yeah, I wrote my resolutions and goals. I've been doing um, my blog posts every year about my goals for the following year. Um, if you're not following me on my blogger, then I'll leave my name here. Um, but yeah, I wrote my goals and resolutions for 2020 and uh, I thought it'd be really interesting to sit down and see which ones I have met and just to see what I thought 2020 was going to have in store for me, let me tell you, I did not think a global pandemic was going to be on the cards, but here we are. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I've got my laptop here and I've got my blog post in front of me and I've purposely tried not to look at it. I, I really try not to look at, at it at all throughout the year because I end up coming to it now uh, we're in towards the end of November now so going into the last month of the year and um, I forget what it is that I've set my goals and stuff for the year that I've had and yeah it's interesting so I did nine how many did I do I only did six six wishes for the new decade um so the first one is to build my confidence with driving um so as many of you might know i got my well i got my driving license about four years ago now and i didn't actually get my first car until a year ago so when i was writing this blog post i think um when did i even write it does it say january i wrote i wrote it in january the first of jan so i had had the car for october november december jan i had it for four months my confidence was really quite low and i went for a refresher course um yeah it wasn't great so my confidence was pretty low at the time of writing this blog post so it says build my confidence with driving as you have may read from my 2019 in reflection blog post i wrote i bought my first car in october of 2019 however since passing my test three years ago now four then going straight to uni, I hadn't drove a car since I passed my test, therefore lacking a lot of confidence for my car. This year, I want to build my confidence by having some refresher lessons so I can be more independent. Um, so tick, yes, I did have my refresher lessons. And although they did help me to an extent, my confidence has only now just started to build with my driving. Um, so I did my refresher lessons and I think I maybe had four maybe four four to six um lessons and um what i kind of learned from doing that is one don't don't be ashamed if you're not the most confident driver if you feel like you need a couple of extra lessons once you've passed your test it's completely normal um so don't be afraid to ask for help if you feel like you need it and you want it um but i it helped but I still had that kind of, not fear of driving, but the confidence just wasn't there. I don't think it was going to be there until I pushed myself and would drive to new places and just push myself with my driving. So yes, tick, I did do my refresher lessons and definitely a big tick. I've built my confidence in my driving massively. Because um, when I first got the car, I would be, I'd have um, like a nervous tummy every time I thought about getting in the car, every time I thought about driving my car to work, which is a five second drive. Now I, um, I've done, I can go on the motorway confidently by myself. Um, I can go to places that I've not been before and follow the sat nav. I don't get that sinking feeling almost and when I think about getting in the car I actually get quite excited about driving and um, look forward to new drives. The confidence isn't like don't think about driving at all because it still was on my mind but in terms of where I was last year it's definitely definitely gone up. So yeah I'd say for one that's a tick 
for my 2020 resolutions. The second one is get a proper job. It says this year when I've beaten a proper nine to five Monday to Friday job, no more waitressing. Yeah, that didn't happen. Well, it did. I got my first proper job as a trainee manager at the hotel that I waitress was in, in March. But it, two and a half weeks in, COVID hit. And although I still have that job title now, um, it's different now because I've been furloughed for the second time, obviously the global pandemic. No one saw that coming, but I've essentially taken a step back but kept the job title and the salary. So I am waitressing. I'm just a glorified waitress because I have a, a, a job title of trainee manager and a better salary than what a, a waitress would have. But I'm still a waitress, so... I feel like that's it. For me, that's like a no, that didn't happen. Didn't tick that resolution off because I'm not in a nine to five Monday to Friday job and I am still waitressing. So yeah, that's a cross. Number three is routine. It says, since graduating, I've fallen out of a routine, brackets, and I like routines. So this year I want to find a routine that, fi that means I find time for myself, friends, family, whilst working and trying to work out. Okay, I don't know who she thought she was going to be in 2020, but she is not somebody that works out. Um, routine, I think it's really hard because I have definitely tried to have a routine. But like I said, with the pandemic and coronavirus and furlough, I ha I'm not in a routine as such because it's not as if I'm going to work every day and then I do set things every day. I probably do similar things day to day as I'm being furloughed since starting YouTube and I'll film on the odd days then when I'm not filming I'm editing then maybe once or twice a week I'll go out for a social distance walk with friends um so I have a sort of routine but everything's just been thrown off with obviously Rona um so I've tried to really implement routines. I have bought my, um, next to me I've got my organised chaos journal, which I've shown a couple of times on my channel now. So having a weekly planner, my goals, my to-do lists, everything like that has really tried to keep me in check and try to keep me within a routine. But in terms of like knowing what I'm doing each week, it, it kind of, I kind of just decide on the Monday, right, this week I'm going to do this, this and this. Um, but like I say, I'm furloughed, there's no real routine, it's just I do what I feel like doing. Um, but I definitely still love a routine, crave routine. Um, uh, so that's like, yeah, I have got a routine, but Rowan has thrown it off a little bit, so not sure on that one. Number four is Jim. It says, yeah, I have completely fallen off the bandwagon since coming back from hol my holiday in September. This year, I want to fall back in love with working out, fitness, and improving my physical and mental health. Mm, yeah, that didn't happen, did it? No. I have probably worked out, and I'm not going to include yoga because I did do 30 days of yoga in the first lockdown. Because to me, that's more meditation. Um, It's not sort of like, intense strenuous workout i do feel like it is more meditating and calming and breathing exercises and <clears throat> more of that kind of stuff so in terms of actual working out this year i can probably count on one hand how many times i've worked out um so yeah i have not fallen back in love with it i think i've actually done the opposite i've fallen in love with not having the pressure of feeling like i need to work out um so this year I went on holiday to Greece. I always forget this year, I honestly felt so long. I forget that I even went away this year. Um, I went to Greece and it's probably the first holiday in a while that I've not worked out before me. I've not been really, really strict with my, with my diet. I've just kind of done whatever I feel like doing. And it's actually the best physically that I've looked in a long time. So yeah i think i've actually fallen in love with the idea of not feeling the pressure to work out um so that's a cross not falling in love with working out have not worked gone to the gym or anything like that so yeah that's a no didn't do that either number five it says take care of myself um it says 2019 was the year i got sick and tired of trying to fix everybody else's problems 
I need to focus on myself, taking care of myself and make sure I'm okay. I lost my way and stopped taking care of myself towards the end of 2019 and really didn't see the point in being positive, optimistic it optimistic that things will change so in 2020 I want to try and take better care of myself keep a positive mentality and attitude yes I want to say yes I have definitely tried to take care of myself more in 2020 I had more self-care days I even made a self-care routine video um <clears throat> I'm acknowledging when I'm starting to dip and I try to do something about it as opposed to just wallowing. Um, I've mentioned before I don't want this to be a video talking about this too too much but I have mentioned recently that I have been struggling with my own mental health and I'm taking steps towards working on that um, personally and professionally. So yes i am definitely taking care of myself better i'm acknowledging when i dip um i do have seasonal affective disorder i've made a video all about that i've been more open about my mental health than i ever have been this year and i think being vocal about how you're feeling and um what, what's on your mind really helps me to feel a lot better so yes i feel like i have definitely taken better care of myself this year and um yeah so i'd say that is a tick for number five so number six which is the last one which i'm, I'm why did i only do six usually i do about ten um save it says this is the year i save in 2020 i want to start saving towards a deposit for a house and make sensible decisions with my money yes definitely you did do this this year i have opened my lifetime i set the end of last year so um i put money in there each month and i'm at my limit for how much i can put in this financial year so i have essentially half the money now for the deposit for my house so fingers crossed and will probably be be a resolution for my 2021 video um will be to save the other half of my deposit so i should have the deposit for my house by the end of 2021 meaning i'll be looking at to move out of 2022 fingers crossed all being well so yes i've definitely saved a lot more this year i have half the deposit for my house in terms of making sensible decisions with my money though mm, did i do you know i think i've probably spent the most amount of money on clothes this year than i ever have i did also create well i didn't create but i downloaded patricia bright's um financial budget spreadsheets it was 99p um and kind of doing my own little bits within that so i've actually kept track of my finances over this whole year so i have not only tried to be more careful with my spending but i'm actually being held accountable to myself and putting in where i'm spending my money how much i'm spending each month and it's actually ridiculous how much money i spend on just pointless shit especially the first lockdown i think i spent too much money on loungewear and pjs um but we weren't going out so i suppose i was saving a lot in terms of my socialization because i wasn't socializing um and spent a lot more on clothes um and just ordering random stuff i did also like into if you asked me maybe two weeks ago yeah my savings were looking very healthy until yeah i treated myself and bought a macbook pro 2020 2020 so yes i but if you're looking at sensible decisions with my money my laptop that i had previously this is me like justifying it to myself um was old didn't do what i wanted it to do and i think laptops are an investment you're gonna have them for years so this is a purchase that i was thinking about making for a while and i just bit the bullet last week and bought it so my my savings aren't looking too healthy right now they've taken battering but um I feel like I have been more sensible in a sense with my savings. Like I said, I've got half the amount of money from my house this year. And I also have um, held myself accountable with my financial spreadsheet. So I would say, yeah, give that a tick. I feel like I have done that. So yeah, that's everything that I wrote in terms of my 2020 resolutions and goals. Obviously, this year has just been so crazy. No one could have predicted that would be where we are right now. So I think it's important to 
this video aside, which is meant to be just a bit lighthearted, fun, see what it is that I thought this year was going to be like. Not to beat yourself up if you're not where you wanted to be this year, because I don't think anybody realised this was going to happen, nor saw themselves in the positions that they're in right now. I just have to be, one, thankful that I've even got a job and I've got money coming in, two, that I've got a roof over my head, and three, that I'm happy and healthy. So ultimately, that's what matters. But yeah, I just thought it'd be really fun and interesting to sit down and see what it is in 2019 that I thought I was going to achieve for this year. And it, I'd say half, I've achieved half. It was mainly, what did I do, not do? Yeah, I didn't get a proper job and I didn't go to the gym. But do you know what? Who cares? Who actually cares? Um, Not me. So yeah, that is everything for this video. I'm going to keep it short and sweet as much as possible because we all know I can ramble and waffle on way too much. Um, so yeah, that's everything for this video. I all hope you've enjoyed it. Please give it a like, a comment and a share and stay tuned for my 2020 goals and resolutions for next year because Lord knows next year needs to be a better year. 2021 is going to be my year. So we shall see what it is that I think is going to happen next year. Other than that, bye guys.